Today, I am going to make a rock garden using a few things from the dollar store. At my local Dollar Tree, I found some reindeer moss. This is a moss sheet. We have some rocks and a little tiny succulent clip. It's attached to a clip, okay? I also found a tiny little bamboo plant, white sand, and a picture frame. We might not use everything, but I thought that these were a couple items that might be useful. The first thing we need for our rock garden is a tray. I was thinking we could use the picture frame for that. It's not gonna give us a very deep tray, but I really like the size. It was the thickest frame I could find at the dollar store, so let's make it work. Remove the plastic, flip it over, and remove the back, the glass, and all of the other stuff. See all of these little metal tabs going around the frame? I'm going to remove them with a pair of pliers. Oh boy, my frame just completely broke apart. That's okay, we got hot glue to the rescue. I'm just gonna glue all of these little pieces back together. Yay, it's a frame again. Even if you didn't just break yours into little pieces like I did, you might wanna take some time to reinforce your corners with a little hot glue. Take the cardboard that was from the back of the frame, carefully remove the metal hooks, fill in the gaps with hot glue, place the cardboard on your work surface, place the frame on top, then use hot glue to glue the cardboard to the frame. If you've got a few gaps in your cardboard, I just place a piece of paper underneath it and then continue gluing. And I'm being pretty generous with the glue. I wanna make sure this thing holds together. Once the glue dries, we can peel away the excess paper, hold it up to the light, and check for gaps. We don't want any of the sand leaking out. The hardest part is over. Place the tray on a table. Take the moss sheet. Let's cut off a little corner. We wanna make it like as a natural line, so let's just make it a little curved. Place the moss in one corner of the frame. We can glue it in place if we like. Just be careful because the moss does have a few holes. I'm gonna take this succulent plant and remove it from the clip. It should just come right off. Glue it to the moss. I don't know. I think the plant is a little large. But I love greenery, so uh, let's just keep going and see how it looks. And add more moss. Let's just place it around the bottom of the plant. Now let's add a few stones. I'm just gonna place a few around the edge of the moss. I didn't glue them down. They're just making a nice little barrier to keep out the sand. My dollar store had white and black sand. Ah, oh, just made a mess there. And uh, I chose white. Here, we're gonna just pour the sand into the tray. I'm trying to keep it fairly even and somewhat neat. This is one bag of sand. It might be enough. I'm just gonna move it around, fill in the gaps. Maybe we'll need a second bag. I don't know. One bag actually did pretty good. This is a very shallow tray, so you might wanna just do one bag so that it doesn't spill out when you go to start combing the sand. I have a very small lip here. I'm thinking I might add just a little bit more. I have a second bag, and we're just gonna add a little bit of sand here. I used a bag and a half. If you make a smaller garden, one bag would be plenty. Yeah, I'm gonna remove this plant if I can. I used a lot of hot glue. I went to make sure it was down there good. All right, well, there you go. There we go, easy peasy. That's a little better. Add a few more rocks in the sand. Maybe we can stack a few. I used to visit this walking trail and they always had these really tall columns of stacked rocks. I thought it was the coolest thing ever that people went out there and just stacked these rocks and balanced them, which apparently I can't do. It was called Cairn 
C A I R N. And I did it! Can we add one more? <gasps> I'm on a roll, people! And another. This actually is. I was about to say relaxing, and then everything fell over. So, yeah. Let's not push our luck. Let's stick with three. I couldn't find anything at my dollar store to make a rake with. Now you could always use uh, a fork. That would totally work. But I want one of those wooden rakes. So I went to the grocery store and picked up a few bamboo skewers. I take one of the skewers and cut it down to about eight inches, giving me two pieces. Let's trim the pointy end off of this one. Use a nail file to sand the edges smooth. I got them as flat as I can. Glue them together, making a T. Cut the smaller skewers, glue them underneath. I'm trying to space these evenly, so I start with the outsides. Place one in the middle, then place two in the middle of those to make a rake. This one is pretty wide, so if you want a tighter pattern, just make it smaller and put the wooden dowels closer together. Let's go ahead and test it out and rake the sand. Oh, look at that! It works, and we're not making a humongous mess. I'm not really good at raking, <laughs> as I can see, but the sand is supposed to represent water. So it's okay if it has a few ripples. Oh wow, this is actually quite relaxing. All right, we did good. Let's see if we can make a circle. Oh, I am really bad at this. Maybe I need a smaller rake. This rake is pretty large. But there we go, hey, we did it. Now we can place our stones in the center do a little stacking, cause that's all extra calming. One more stone. Yes. I really want some kind of little plant over there. So I'm gonna use our spider plant technique on this green paper from our how to make three paper house plants video to try and make a little plant that we can place in our garden. I'm making these leaves pretty thin. Roll it around one of the bamboo skewers, curl the leaves, then place it in the moss to complete our rock garden, also known as a Zen garden. This could be a really nice gift for someone who could use a little downtime. We can place it on our desk for a little stress relief throughout the day. And perhaps the best part, since this is a miniature garden, we can use it with our dolls. Make more than one to create a calming pathway and give our dolls a peaceful place to meditate. The only thing that is glued down is the base for our moss. So we can rearrange the rocks for new designs every day. If we want to make one that's even smaller, we can use popsicle sticks from the dollar store. Start by cutting a small rectangle of recycled paperboard. This is one and a half by two inches. Take the popsicle sticks, measure them to the sides, cut them down, glue them onto the paperboard, sand the rough edges, paint it, cut a toothpick into small pieces, glue two together to make a T, glue some smaller pieces on top to make a rake. Add sand, some small rocks, a little piece of moss if you like. Rake the sand with the miniature rake to make a miniature Zen garden for our dolls. Thank you for joining us while we made miniature rock gardens and Zen gardens. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! Oh,